cover the subject of celebrities. You know, nothing makes me more bored, yawn, yawn, than the media saying over and over and over and over, John Travolta, Tom Cruise. Let me tell you something. This is old, old news. John Travolta joined the church 35 years ago. Tom Cruise joined the church 25 years ago. The big question should be, how come in the last 25 years the church has never been able to lure in or rope in any other big name? Okay, maybe lukewarm Will Smith who recently declared no more donations to Scientology, maybe a Kirstie Alley or something. But where, the big question is, where are the John Travolta's in? This is old, old, old news. It isn't so much that they joined, it's why isn't anybody else who's really big joined? What Celebrity Center does is it tries to get the young fledgling hopeful wannabes and it advertises. It advertises in the back pages of LA Weekly. Hypocritically sliming Tony Ortega, Village Voice for the adult porn ads, and yet it advertises in these kind of publications. A lot of the Hollywood trade publications. Free seminar on how to boost your career. All these little one-inch ads. And that's how Celebrity Center lure in the young and hopefuls. They advertise, meet top directors, come and do a showcase at Celebrity Center. You see, one thing about Scientology, Inc., Church of Scientology, it truly believes that they are the masters of everything. They're even the masters of Hollywood. Nobody knows more about acting and directing and producing, and nobody knows how to put a celebrity on the map than the Church of Scientology. They're even experts of Hollywood. You know, Karen, one of the dirty little secrets of Celebrity Center mm -hmm. is they appeal to all the aspiring young people who want to be actors. They say, oh, come to Celebrity Center. We have you covered. Our comm lines are out there with all the big casting agents. All the studios, we can get you work, voiceover, commercials, whatever you want to do. But then, when you get into Celebrity Center, they start recruiting you for Sea Org. They say, only scum are actors. Why do you want to waste your spiritual talents on degraded, filthy screenplays that wogs are going to watch? You belong in the sea organization. That's right. You belong in the sea organization. Higher purpose. Saving this planet. Forget films. That's Pollyanna. But they offer the best of them roles in the golden era training films that Scientologists watch. And they tell them, look, if you're in a golden era film, these play in the ideal orgs all over the world, 24-7. So you're going to reach a lot more people who need the technology. That's it. <laughs> Here we have like the creed and all like basic principles that we operate off that I'm going to show you in a second. And this is like a little bit of an overall view of what a church is all about. Okay. Yeah. I could understand how you'd be curious. I mean, you walk in and you go, what is it? What is this place? Walking to a church of Scientology is very much a new kind of experience. It's not nice like a, a church that Pretty. I... One thing that the world may not know is, because of the hierarchy, there's something called preferential treatment. And if a person has a lot of money, but they don't want to be seen stepping in and out of a church of Scientology, they have room service. Room service means an auditor is flown out and counsels them in the privacy of their own home. Now, it costs a pretty penny, but you have the auditor on site delivering 
in complete stealth and privacy so that this celebrity is not known to step into the church. Not everybody makes it in all these stealth deliveries. Many people have a little and eh, it's not for them. But there are a certain amount of stealth Scientologists who feel it would be career suicide to be associated publicly with the Church of Scientology. Shine your light.